हेलो एवरीवन टुडेज टॉपिक इज सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ ऑकर्स इन डायकॉट स्टेम इन डायकॉट स्टेम द वस्कुलर बंडल्स आर कंजॉइंट कोलैट्रल ओपन एंड अरेंज्ड इन अ रिंग कंजॉइंट मींस जाइलम एंड फ्लोएम टुगेदर फॉर्म अ बंडल Collateral means xylem is towards the inner side, while phloem is towards the outer side. And open means cambium is present in between xylem and phloem. First step of secondary growth is formation of interfascicular cambium. Now this is a vascular bundle in which xylem is towards inner side, phloem is towards outer side and present in between is the cambium. The cambium present in between the vascular bundles are known as fascicular cambium. And present between the vascular bundles are parenchyma cells that form the medullary rays. Cells of the medullary rays adjoining the fascicular cambium they become meristematic means they regain the ability to divide to form interfascicular cambium to form interfascicular cambium cells of medullary rays now due to this a complete ring of cambium is formed the cambial cells divide periclinally periclinally means they divide parallel to the outer surface now when a cambial cell divides it divides to produce two cells of the two cells one will remain as the cambial cell so that it can divide further and the second one will either differentiate into secondary xylem or into secondary phloem if differentiation occurs towards the inner side it is secondary xylem if differentiation occurs towards the outer side it is secondary phloem more of secondary xylem and less of secondary phloem is formed due to the formation of secondary xylem and secondary phloem the primary xylem and primary phloem get crushed now due to the cambial activity a pressure is applied on the overlying epidermis as the stem starts increasing in thickness and it ruptures a new protective layer called the periderm is formed cells of outer cortex they become meristematic forming the corcambium also known as the phylogen the cork cambium behaves in the same way as the fascicular cambium that is it divides periclinally to form two cells of which one remain as the cambial cell and the other one differentiates either into the secondary cortex or into the cork cells if differentiation occurs towards the inner side it is secondary cortex if differentiation occurs towards the outer side it is cork cells more of secondary cortex and less of cork cells are produced cells of the secondary cortex are thin walled living cells while cork cells are dead at maturity walls thicken thickening is of suberin due to which 
they are impervious to water cork of commercial importance is curacus suber secondary cortex is referred as phallodum corcambium is referred as phallogen while cork is referred as phallum and all three together form the periderm the new protective layer growing among the cork cells are thin wall living cells called the complementary cells thin wall living cells that are loosely arranged they together form the lenticels which help in exchange of gases the dead outer layer present outer to phallogen is referred as bark bark are of two types ring bark and scaly bark means the dead layer comes out in the form of ring this is seen in betula while scaly bark is seen in guava and eucalyptus now in plants where secondary growth occurs the wood grown during the summer season is known as early wood or spring wood they have wider cavities and are lighter in color while the wood wood form in the winter is known as late wood or autumn wood they have narrow cavities and are darker in color now in case of plants growing in regions where there are severe summers and severe winters a ring of vessels are produced in the summer that have larger cavities means the spring wood and the ring of vessels are produced in the winter having smaller cavities this is the early wood and this is the late wood together the two layers together form the annual rings a ring of vessels of larger cavity and the ring of vessels of low, smaller cavity together form the annual rings which help in calculating age of the plant study of age of the plant is known as dendrochronology wood made up of vessels is known as porous wood or hardwood and wood made up of tracheids is known as non porous wood or soft wood now in case of plants where annual rings are seen the wood is known as ring porous wood while in case of plants growing in regions where temperature is same throughout the year no annual rings are seen as summer wood and winter wood all are of same size the wood that is formed is known as diffuse porous wood so the term to remember 
early and spring wood, late and autumn wood, annual rings, porous or hard wood, non-porous or soft wood, then ring porous wood and diffuse porous wood. Now once secondary growth starts, it continues throughout the life. The inner core of secondary growth has vessels which are blocked due to depositions like tannins, resins and gums. and formation of tylosis. This wood becomes darker in color and is referred as heartwood or duramen. Tylosis are balloon-like ingrowths of the parenchyma cells into the lumen of the vessels, blocking the vessels. While the outer wood that is newly formed through which conduction occurs and is lighter in color forms the sapwood or the alburnum. Now in this diagram we can see that the darker inner part is the heartwood through which no conduction occurs while the outer part which is lighter in color through which conduction occurs is the sapwood. Thank you. Thank you for watching.